everyone, welcome back. Today's one of my favorite kinds of videos because I just tell you about the stuff that I really love for the month. So these are my June favorites. All right, so all the products I'm gonna talk about today, I'm really genuinely excited about. Not that I'm not excited about the products that I tell you every single month, but this month there are some really big standouts to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first one, and that is this sunscreen from Kopari. This one is special. This is the Kopari Sunshield Body Glow Broad Spectrum SPF 50. The main reason why I love this is that it is a body oil and I just like love as we go into summer I love to put on like a body oil on my shoulders on my collarbone on my chest on my legs Especially if I'm gonna go, you know, like to an event or anything like that And I you know, obviously have to wear sunscreen. I love to get that extra shimmer and glow This gives you this really pretty shimmer to your skin It's very subtle and the finish isn't super oily and greasy looking it just makes your skin look like it's very nicely hydrated like almost like plumping and like hydrating like this is exactly what this gives you for your body skin so I love that and I love that you get the added benefit of it being a sunscreen now the reason why I love that it's a sunscreen is that they also hit some of the points that I love in a sunscreen first off this is SPF 50. We've seen so many sunscreens come out recently and a lot of them are like SPF 30. And SPF 30 is fine. It's like the bare minimum at this point of what we should be using. But if you're really starting to understand sunscreen and you've really hopped on the trend of protecting your skin, sure, SPF 30 is better than nothing. Again, it's the bare minimum. But in reality, we should be aiming for SPF 50, right? So I love that they didn't skimp. They still made this a beautiful, elegant product, but they made it SPF 50. It's broad spectrum. Spectrum. It's also water and sweat resistant, which is a must when it comes to body sunscreen. So even though it's meant to be this like beautiful, pretty sheen that it's giving you, it's not all just cosmetic. They're really giving you true sunscreen benefits. And I love that. I also really love the scent of it. It's kind of like this, I don't know, this like really pretty tropical, kind of scent to it and it's just so pretty. I hardly ever rave about sunscreens that are from the US. And this one is, this one's doing it for me. I love it. Look at that beautiful sheen. Mmm, that beachy tropical scent. It's nice. This is a really nice sunscreen. That finish is beautiful. It's SPF 50. It's broad spectrum. This is nice. Kapari, nailed it. Next up is a product that's like, not that exciting when you first look at it. You're kind of like, oh, what is this? It's like, it looks like a box, cause it is, it's a box. But when I actually opened it, I was kind of like, this is genius. Why doesn't this happen more? This is by Medicube. It's their Super Sika, Sika X Aloe X Green Tea Daily Quick Mask. So when you pop this open, you can see you've got these little tweezers right here. Doo, doo, doo. And when you open it, you get a month's worth of cloth face masks. And let me tell you why this is an awesome concept. I actually think that, you know, if you're a brand that's trying to create face masks, which everybody is trying to do right now, right? Because they're so popular. You know, I think like my biggest issue is not that I don't like the face masks. I love cloth face masks, but there's that little part of me that feels guilt when I buy a package of these cloth face masks or the hydrogel ones. And you only get, first off, you only get like two or three for the price that you're spending, which is usually a lot. But then two, it feels really wasteful to open up each individual package and then you know eventually toss it and stuff. You're still tossing each of your face masks, but they're really thin cloth and you're getting 30. So you're getting a month's worth of actual face masks. And when it comes to skincare, using your skincare consistently and very regularly is so important to see actual differences in your skin and change in your skin. So I love that you can actually utilize this. Almost like this is almost basically taking the place of your serum and you get this nifty little box. So it just sits right there on your counter. You open it up, take your little tweezers, stick them in there, pull out your little mask, and then you wear it, toss it, and you're not opening up packaging every single time. It's just this one package. This is obviously still packaging. You can't get around, you know, having something that you have to eventually toss but in my opinion for 30 masks this is so much more compact and way less wasteful so I just like this concept the masks are really nice and calming and hydrating these aren't gonna be like you know super innovative you know blow your mind kind of you know ingredient formula serums in here but it is really calming it is really hydrating it feels really nice on your skin and I just love the concept of this Medicube pretty good this one this is from Moda Moda 
It is a Korean hair care brand and I am so happy to have discovered this. This is the most excited I think I've been about a beauty product in a long time. And the reason for that is because it's very innovative. I first off have to give credit. There's a woman I follow on Instagram named Odile Minaj. She works in beauty marketing in Korea. So she's kind of at the forefront of seeing what all the beauty trends are in Korea. And a lot of the time, a lot of the beauty trends that we get here originate in places like Korea. She's been really disappointed that, you know, there really haven't been that many real innovative trends coming out of Korea in the last couple of years, but she did point this out. She was like, this is a really cool innovation. This is a shampoo that helps with gray hair, basically hiding your gray hair without actually dyeing it, but acting almost like a dye. I know, very interesting. And it also helps with scalp care. So if you have gray hair, you have dandruff or like flakiness of your scalp, and if you have hair loss, this shampoo is supposed to help with all of that. So the thing that really caught my attention was the fact that if you have dark brown or black hair, so this is supposed to mimic that polyphenol that you find in bananas that oxidizes and then eventually starts to turn your banana brownish black. So it's kind of that same concept. They're utilizing that polyphenol in here. So when you pump this and put it on your hair, it receives that oxygen. And the longer that it sits on your hair and you get that oxygen to it, it starts to add that kind of of like brownish black tone to your hair. And then they put other ingredients in here that also help to soothe your scalp, help with the hair loss. That stuff like, I like wasn't really paying attention to. What caught my attention was the fact that you could utilize this to potentially not have to keep dyeing your hair if you have gray hairs. More recently, I've had to go get my hair colored like every four to six weeks because I have to touch up my roots because I'm starting to get grays. And it's been to the point where recently, I've been like really debating if I should just go ahead and, you know, embrace my grays because I actually think it can be very beautiful, especially when you see somebody, you know, like a woman walk out with like long, all gray, silvery hair. It's so pretty, but to get there, you first off have to have that that like whole change. I just have the like sparse like sparklers that stick up all over the place. I don't have like full blown silver hair yet. So even if I were to try to go all silver, it wouldn't actually be that. So I would really just have to go through an awkward regrowth of, you know, like letting my roots kind of come in. And I, you know, I'm just not ready to, I guess, deal with that regrowth stage yet. So instead of doing that, I've been debating like, okay, so do I just then have to deal with that maintenance? Being a woman trying to like, you know, have everything like deal with your appearance and like maintain it is so difficult and expensive and time consuming. I've already cut out so many different things from my life, especially as a mom. I don't get my nails done anymore. I'm always doing it myself. This kind of started in the pandemic. Like I only just started working out again. Like there are only so many things that you can do to maintain yourself. So hair has started to become one of those things where I'm like, do I really want to sit around making an appointment to get my hair done every four to six weeks. It's just so exhausting. So all of that to say, this caught my attention. In the instructions, it says to you know rub it on your scalp and on your hair for about three minutes to get that oxygen in it. And if you want, you can do that even longer to just you know basically activate it even more. It really is kind of cool. The one complaint I have about this maybe is that it is a little bit stripping for your hair. And like I had a little bit more knots in my hair and tangles in my hair afterwards, even after putting like a hair mask in because the shampoo is a little bit stripping. That's probably my one complaint to it. Next up, just some gummies. They're really just gummies. These are from Vital Proteins. They're beauty gummies. This is the strawberry flavor. You know, I wanted to point this out because I'm a gummy maniac. I love buying gummy supplements. I went through a bottle. I actually should have put it into one of my favorites, but I like ran through that bottle. Maybe it's gonna be one of the next bottles that I show, but I just finished like a whole bottle of vitamin D gummies that I got from a whole different brand. So this is the next bottle of like supplement gummies that I picked up. These are from Vital Proteins, like I said. These ones are, you know, the kind that have like you know, biotin and what else is in here? There's zinc, selenium, niacin, vitamin C, vitamin A, all that good stuff that's like good for your hair and for your skin. I have no idea how well gummy vitamins and supplements work, I really don't. But as long as they taste really good to me, it's like I'm getting my snack and my little like, you know, my sweet tooth, I'm like, you know, just kind of solving that issue and also getting some vitamins that are gonna potentially help either my health or my looks or something. So that's what I went for with these ones. They have biotin, like I said, there's 2,500 micrograms in here. They're supposed to give a youthful appearance. They're free of synthetic color. Let's say it promotes strong hair and nails. My nails and hair are really strong, so it's always kind of hard for me to say, but you know, I'm always eating this type of gummy. And it also is supposed to increase skin hydration, which I love. I love the concept of it. 
Again, whether it works or not, no idea, but I like them. If you're interested in gummies that do something for your, your health or for your looks, I like these ones. Not gonna give you a strong endorsement, obviously, because who knows like how well gummies work, but I enjoy them, so sharing. Next up, there's this lip balm from Mara Beauty. They actually have two shades. This is the clear. They have a coral shade, which I really need to get my hands on because I love this stuff. Sometimes when it comes to like, you know, like natural skincare and natural lip balms and stuff, they're not gonna be thick enough for me. It's like kind of my complaint when it comes to any of these like, you know, clean brands and natural brands and everything is sometimes it just doesn't beat that really nice thick petrolatum like balm that I kind of want for my lips. It was a big deal for me when we were formulating the Naturium lip balms. I think that we really like created something that was very cool and interesting and completely vegan. And I really have to give it to Mara Beauty for this one as well. This this is their sea silk lip balm. It has algae and moringa in here. This stuff is so nice and juicy and thick and balmy and I really love it. This one is so nice. It's almost, honestly, I would almost think that there is like petrolatum or something in here because it is so nice and rich and thick. Like if you're like me, and you love to have a really rich lip balm, especially one that you wear on your lips before you go to bed, this one, smells really nice, it feels really nice, it gives just like a nice natural sheen to your lips, and it feels nice and thick, it really does. I love this stuff, I cannot wait to try the coral one. It's really good stuff. Next up is my summer fragrance, I wanna say. This is from my friend Chriselle's brand, Fleur. This is called Floria. And I feel like people are not talking about this fragrance enough because, you know, I, I know that like Missing Person, which was the first fragrance that the brand launched, just went completely viral on social media. It kind of like overshadowed this beautiful perfume right here, which is my absolute favorite from the brand. This just has a lot of florals to it, but it's not intense florals. It almost has has this like beachy, summery vibe to it. And I think that's why I'm liking it so much right now. It feels like this is like the summer fragrance. It's like this fragrance of the summer. It really is, it's so pretty. Mm. It has a blend of white florals, which always tend to be my favorite types of fragrances. We're talking like jasmine, there's gardenia in here, but then it has a lot of citrus in it. There's like bergamot, there's a little bit of vanilla. It's just, it's a fragrance you have to smell because it's just kind of different from whatever is out there. And I really give it to the team, their fragrances and their names are also just really cool. The packaging is cool. I don't know. I feel like people aren't talking about Floria enough. This is my favorite fragrance from the brand so far. I have tried every single one of them and I love all of the fragrances, but I'm telling you, this is the one that you're gonna catch me wearing all summer long. Cause this in my opinion is the fragrance of the summer. But. Speaking of fragrances of the summer, I do have to throw out there, I have mentioned that I love salts from Ellis Brooklyn. I still love it. It reminds me of something beachy. This is also another beautiful indie fragrance brand. Salts has been one of my favorite fragrances for like a year and a half at this point or a year. I don't remember when they launched it, but the minute I got it in PR, I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. You've probably noticed I like body oils during the summertime, which sounds kind of strange because you think like humidity and you know, like sweat and everything and body oil but most body oils I tend to find are, are not made to be like very thick and like super rich feeling necessarily. These are all light body oils. They feel a little bit more dry on your skin. And this one especially has that kind of a feeling, but I love this in the evenings. If you're going out to dinner, and you don't wanna have a really strong perfume on, which sometimes can just be overwhelming, especially if you are gonna go eat or something. This is so nice to just put onto like the high points of your skin, on your shoulders, on your chest a little bit, and then you get that very light fragrance and it smells so nice. It's just, it's beautiful for the summertime especially. Salt is a beautiful fragrance in general. Like even during the winter time, I can imagine myself wearing this one a lot too. So it's so pretty. I love that there's an oil and it kind of complements that fragrance, the actual perfume that you're using too. So you can just choose to use this and it's a little bit lighter or you can layer it with the actual perfume and it just makes the scent even stronger and last even longer. It's so beautiful. And then last is this product from my brand, Naturium. We launched an entire acne collection this month. I'm so pumped about it. It takes so much time and so much work and effort to create true OTC products. So I'm really proud of this collection. I never really complain about acne being one of my skincare issues, not anymore. I definitely have dealt with my fair share of acne, especially when dealing with like getting off of birth control and stuff. I think that's when it really became a big deal to me to have, you know, acne treatments out there that don't feel like 
they're so, I guess, utilitarian and not the same thing that you pick up in the drugstore that I've been seeing available and picking up since I was in my teens in the 90s, right? They're strong, they're irritating, they don't feel elegant on your skin, they don't feel fun to use. I wanted products that would be very beautiful and elegant to use, but also treat your acne. So we created this collection, I'm really proud of it, but I especially love our Benzoyl Peroxide Cream Cleanser 5%. Benzoyl Peroxide Cleansers are nothing new, but again, they can be very drying for your skin and very stripping for your skin, and that in turn does not actually benefit your skin in the long term. It might help to, I guess, decrease your acne a little bit, but we all know at this point that when you strip your skin, you are then creating more skin issues and sometimes even more acne. So we made this foam free, so it's not gonna strip your skin. We made it very nourishing and creamy on your skin. It's a lovely experience and you get that effectiveness of your benzoyl peroxide without stripping your skin. So it's very straightforward, but I actually think this is exactly what we needed on the market was a benzoyl peroxide cleanser. And if you don't know why benzoyl peroxide is great for treating acne, it's because it helps to target that bacteria that leads to your acne. So it's helping to prevent and to also treat. And of the entire collection that we've created, this is probably the one that I do use the most because I just find that using a benzoyl peroxide cleanser, especially like in the morning, if you're in the shower or anything like that, can just be very preventative for even people that get, you know, just clogged pores and blackheads. It's such a good product to use. So those are my June favorites. I am truly excited about a lot of these products. Again, I'm always excited about the products that I share in my favorites, but for some reason, some of these products this month have just really been speaking to me. These are products that I have been wanting and I didn't even know it, especially the shampoo that I talked to you guys about. It is such a cool concept. I hope we see more innovation. I hope we see more really cool products come out soon. If there's anything else that you guys wanna share, maybe some favorites that you've been trying, different brands, different products, anything that we haven't been talking about, definitely tell me in the comments below. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.